listening to Ontario Morning on CBC Radio 1. We're at 94.3 in Huntsville, 92.3 in Halliburton. The London Short Film Showcase runs tomorrow at Museum London. 14 films made the final cut. All but one are stories told by Londoners. Here's an excerpt from one of them. Is it recording? is the trailer from the short film titled Entrada. It's a futuristic tale about a woman who may just be the last human alive. Jason Clark is also a filmmaker and the creator of the London Short Film Showcase. He joins us on the line now. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going today? Hey, I'm well, thank you. So what were the qualifications for the 14 films that made the cut? Well, we're uh, we're a pretty easy uh, festival to get into. We don't have a lot of uh, qualifications needed. Basically, films under 15 minutes and films that don't have any sort of copyrighted music or photos or any Im- imagery, and that's pretty much it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So, what types of films did you choose in the end? It's a it's a wide variety. It really is. Um, we get the one that you just uh, we just listened to is like you said, kind of a futuristic um, sci-fi type film. We have a lot of dramas this year, comedies, horror films. It's uh, it's really kind of a, a wide gamut of all sorts of stuff. How many categories are there? Again, no no real categories. We just uh, we screen them all. Um, we try to put the films together throughout the night so that, you know, the the films themselves tell a story and, and we offset, you know, something that might make you feel a little sad with one that will uh, make you laugh a little bit. So we try to kind of really make it uh, enjoyable experience all the way through. Yeah. How do this year's films compare to years past? I've, I understand that you've done this for about five years now. Yeah, this is our, our fifth year. Um, and there's, I think, two two real big things. One, definitely we've seen a lot of uh, the quality Im- improve. I think that's partially in part to the technology and um, I think also, you know, filmmakers just improving their skills as well. Um, but we also saw a huge influx this year of local films, as you mentioned in the uh, in the intro. Um, this year we have 13 of our 14 films are all uh, produced or shot in London, so it's uh, fantastic for us. Yeah, tell me about some of them. Uh, again, there's a wide variety. Um, there's uh, some that you would never even really know, like the the one you screened, uh, all pretty much shot on green screen, so you won't really see any uh, any clips of London. Uh, but then there's other ones where you'll you'll know you'll notice downtown locations, uh, um, you know, or maybe even your uh, subdivision or street uh, where people are filming. It's it's always kind of neat as an audience member to sit back and kind of uh, try to pick out the spots of your of your hometown. Yeah, and so did many of the filmmakers have to do some guerrilla filmmaking in town. You know, the best part about London uh, is that that's never a problem. Um, there's no permits needed. Um, people are usually very interested uh, and intrigued. Businesses are, are usually very welcoming uh, to filmmakers because it can help them to promote their businesses and, and everything else. So uh, it's a very different scene from something like Toronto or Hamilton where, you know, you need permits and you need to have, you know, police people on, on duty. It's really kind of a wide open um, situation in London. Yeah. So you mentioned that technology has really progressed. You know, it's it's like anyone with with, with a camera can just make their own movies. But you mentioned that 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 futuristic one actually used green screen. So there's a lot of high tech stuff being used. Yeah. You know, but even I think even um, the high tech stuff has really uh, has really come down and is more accessible to filmmakers. Um, You know, basic editing software gives you the capability of of doing green screen and and that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of really affordable programs that you can get to be able to produce um, high end kind of graphics as well. So Mm. uh, it it really kind of uh, it really changes the whole scene of film. Uh, filmmakers and independent filmmakers especially. So you're not just the creator of this, you've also got a film. Tell me yes. about your entry. Um, we have a film called Frantic uh, in there and we actually shot that film for the uh, another film festival or film contest in London, the Fringe 62 Hour Film Contest, um, where you have basically 62 hours to write, shoot and edit a film. 
Um, so we were fortunate enough to actually win um, win that contest, and we really wanted to uh, show our film again. So we uh, obviously entered it into the showcase, and I was grateful that uh, our selections committee were, uh, were were kind enough to accept the film again. So uh, we're happy to be able to screen it again. Oh, you didn't have poll, you're saying? <laughs> no, no. You know, that's the one thing when we started out. Uh, um, I, we really wanted to be able to include everybody, and we have a lot of filmmakers on our board and everything else. Um, so our selections committee is made up of committee me- uh, community members um, who, you know, no one on the board or no one who has a film submitted is actually on the selections committee. So um, that way, you know, myself as a filmmaker or other filmmakers can continue to do what they want and then what they love and be able to show the audiences of London what they're doing and, and not feel excluded at all. So. Well, what is it that you like about short films as opposed to feature length? There's, you know, there's, both have their, obviously, their strengths, um, monetary from the full length, obviously, but uh, short films are great because as, as an independent filmmaker, it's, it's practice, and it's a really affordable way to practice, um, and they're, they're so flexible. You can, like I said, we have such a wide variety of different genres, um, but it can be down to budget. You can make a short film, the film that we shot for Frantic, we really had no budget. It was maybe, we spent $100 on some food, um, but We've had films come into the short film showcase um, with budgets of over 10000 So it really kind of lends itself to, you know, what your uh, capabilities are and you're able to kind of um, just put into it what you really you are able to or what you want to. So it's, it's so flexible. It's, it's really exciting. Yeah, and it's really about the storytelling. Um, so what happens uh, at the event tomorrow night? I mean, do you hand out awards or...? Yes, this is actually uh, something new we're doing this year. Um, we decided to um, create five awards this year that we're handing out uh, to, to five lucky filmmakers, which we're really, uh, really excited about. So um, it's really, I think, kind of helped to hype up the event a little bit. And we really wanted to be able to, we haven't done this in the past, so we really wanted uh, to be able to recognize some of the achievements um, that filmmakers have have made over the past year. So uh, we figured this was the best way to be able to go about that. All right, Jason, thanks very much for telling us about it. Enjoy. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jason Clark is a filmmaker and the creator of the London Short Film Showcase. It runs tomorrow at Museum London. You can check out uh, our website uh, later this morning. We'll put a link to theirs for more details, cbc.ca slash Ontario Morning.